In this video, we're going to take a look at the Select by Boundary tool in Fusion 360. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Select by Boundary tool. Now, this is a tool that is meant for selecting certain objects based on their size. However, there's another use. This is the same muffler bracket we looked at when we were talking about selectable versus unselectable. And what I want to do is hide the stock, and I'm going to go to my selection tools, down to selection tools, and select by boundary. Now, the reason I like this tool is because you can select an object and instantly figure out exactly what the bounds it is that it fits in. So in this case, we can see that we're three and a half inches in X, inch and a half in Y, and 0.9 in Z. So this tells me from a manufacturing point of view that I can use a one by two stock that's approximately four inches long. And of course, that's the size of stock I designed this for. But using this tool is pretty helpful because we can see exactly what our part fits in and we can increment these values. So for example, change the Z to one, change the Y to two, and change the X to four. And then we can see how our part fits into that stock size. Now, of course, that is exactly the size of our stock and you can see it automatically began to select that. So if I just change this X to 3.9, you can see it no longer selects the stock for us, even though it's hidden. So again, this is a great tool, just a quick tip to make sure that you can identify and understand how big of raw stock you need to manufacture your parts. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.